Hello, this is uh, Andrew from Batman's Philippines. Uh, I'm just doing my walk through Leyte like I did before. I'll put a link through on this link to my other page, which is uh, which I shot about seven years ago, and gives you some idea of the it is, it is change. Okay, well here we go. People in Marjan. <laughs> A bit of Rita's Carpenter. Bit of Rita. Changes. You see all the new metal. It's been what's been donated. So you can see what damage has been done. I'm here just after um, Typhoon Ruby, which is just come basically came through about a year after um, Typhoon uh, Haiyan or whatever. So this is sort of a year after the big typhoon. Guys doing some fencing. Hi guys! <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, store. Hi. You see? Okay, keep walking down this way. Do a different way. Yeah, bloody chickens. You can see some houses did pretty well. Not much damage at all. This is a judge's house as you can see looks pretty flash <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a lawyer hi Doing a bit of his shed, his car shed, pretty good. It's a pretty nice car shed. <laughs> it's a house that got knocked around a little bit with Cyclone Hyann, but got whacked a fair bit with Typhoon Ruby. As you see, the roof's been ripped off. It's pretty messed up. But you can see some houses just with nipper huts are fine. So it's just... Hi! <laughs> you see? So, yeah. The guy in this is basically written off, I think. That's what they're saying. So, there we go. All these coconut trees didn't get ripped up, so that's pretty good. Oh, one did. One got snapped off while I foot. Here comes the tricycle. Hi. Good afternoon. Hi! <laughs> Creek. Gonna be spear fishing. <laughs> antenna. Oh, that's good. Right? That's, that's good improvised. Improvised antenna. Way to go. And they do racing pigeons, is it? 
Racing pigeons? Huh? So yeah, here's the Barangay Centre. Got a UN mob down here. We'll go down and have a look. It's about, ooh, about 25 degrees, about 30 something degrees. A bit warm, not so humid. Power is pretty good actually. It doesn't get very hot. It gets hot, but it doesn't get very um, humid here. So it's pretty good. So, um, Pretty lucky that way. UNHCR. Wow. Well, this one didn't get hit pretty bad, did it? Pretty concrete. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, the local internet cafe, Lancom, which I'll be going to later to send off some stuff on Facebook and other stuff. And we've got the little PLDT phone shop thing here. See, pole got knocked down. Did a mess. Oh, we'll keep walking. The guy's fixing their bike. <laughs> Dog having a sleep. Working with the Philippines. <laughs> One thing since Cyclone Ruby, what's happened a lot is they've got new wiring now, the new um, meters, and they've got street lights, which is really good. So, but the big problem with Haro is that the people in charge, the government, it seemed to have withheld a lot of the money, so God knows what for. But a lot of people aren't getting the money that was promised. Originally it was promised they were getting supposed to be getting 70,000 pesos if your house got knocked, knocked over and 30,000 pesos. But a lot of people haven't seen any of that. So, drugstore? <laughs> house. Around. Hi, how are you? You fine? Hello. Hi. <laughs> so. Yeah, so one of the main roads in the highway. They come off the freeway. Come off the highway. Uh, it's pretty full on. This is a pharmacy. Uh, it's a Filipino pharmacy, drugstore, drugstore pharmacy. Pharmacy good is a good name. That's a Western name. Not drugstore's American name. There you go. I do, I'm doing a video to put up on YouTube of Haro. I videoed one seven years ago, so now I'm doing the next one. <laughs> um, I'm the, you know, I told her. Leoni, Leoni, I told her. The 